So let's talk about chipping again. You know, when I go on the, on the practice screen with my students, I always ask, so how do you want to hit that shot? And most, really most of the people always take their wedge, a sand wedge, or, you know, maybe a gap wedge, but they never really think of other options at all. So, I mean, I, I have a few balls here and I have a, you know, I have a chip where you probably going to see first, you have to let it fly a little bit and then you have to let it roll maybe 50, 50, 50%. 50 um, but in the end of the day, you always have three options. You have the low one, the middle one, and the high one. And the high one, which is flying more than rolling, is always a tougher one because you have to take away the club longer. You have to get a little bit more speed onto the ball and you have to hit it, you know, because just the, the way is long, you, it's just difficult to, to catch it in a really good spot. So, um, I'm certainly not a person who says, you know, leave all your wedges out. But on the other hand, you should be able to pretty much play with every club in your bag a chip. So now I actually have my, my three rescue. I don't have a five wood. I just have a three rescue and I start always with the rescues. I have, how much is that? It's, it's about 10 meter. Um, and all I'm trying to do, I get a little bit of a feeling what how much do I need to do to get it with my three rescue close to the pin? All right, so that was pretty good. So I'm just trying to develop some feeling. So now, of course, my four rescue, my, um, my, my five rescue would come up. Now I take my six iron. Of course, I can do with all my other um, rescues as well. Now I'm trying to to chip it with my six iron. Ball, ball position is to the right because I want to let it uh, run a little bit more. And you know what? I didn't catch it well, but you know, it's still one and a half meters away from the hole. If I would have caught badly with my wedges, I would find my ball right here. So the bad shot is better with the low shot. So I'm trying this one more time with my six iron. That's better. Yeah, almost. So, okay, so now I go up to my, what is that, seven iron. I take my eight iron now. And you can slowly tell what I want to tell you. You should be able to hit every chip with a different club in your bag the same distance. Just develop some feeling. Now I take my eight iron. Ah, almost. You know, and I try to speed it up now. Now I take my wedge, you know, I, I, then I go to my nine iron, to my pitching wedge. And now what I have now, I have my gap wedge in my hand. So now you can see all of a sudden I have to take it away longer and I have to let it fly onto the green. Ball position is centered. Yeah, but the shot becomes much more difficult. And now finally I take my lob wedge which has 60 degrees, what I would never ever take on a chip like that. But a lot of amateurs do that. And I'll tell, tell you in a second why. So now my lob wedge to the left. And it's certainly not much easier. I really have to concentrate compared to my rescue. I just have to take it away a little bit and just get a nice smooth uh, putt stroke on it pretty much. It's so much easier. So try to get your long, longer clubs in your chipping as well and really try to let it run a little bit more. Um, so especially here, in Germany, a lot of people are taking the wedges because they watch golf a lot on TV and they see the guys taking their lob wedges. They try to approach the green with a high shot. But why are they or why do they need to do this? Because they have super hard greens. They have just one chance to approach it high to let the ball finish where they want to have the ball finished. Um, we don't have those greens. There is no, no need to hit it high so you really can hit it low the guys on tour they don't have a big chance of keeping it low you know so keep your 
which is more in the back. Try to get a little bit of feeling with your, with your rescues and your longer irons and I'm sure you will have more success. Now have fun practicing and I'm sure you have some comments and some questions for me. Just fire on, I'll try to answer everything. Now good luck and if you want to, you of course can follow me on Instagram as well and I'll see you very soon. Bye.